Welcome to Midnight Mule FPL. I'm Midnight Mule and this is the video for Game Week 27 where we look to see what my team looks like and what transfer I've already done which could have been a mistake already. But first let's see who's doing well in the Midnight Mule Mini League for Game Week 26. Top scorer for Game Week 26 was Alexander Kardenrot with Blade from Sweden with 84 points. He played his wild card and he had Bowen for 20, Douglas Louise for 15, so that was very good. Saka for 10, Captain Harlan for 10, Watkins 9, Ake 6 and He chan for 3. And on the bench, nothing really much to speak of. Top of the league is still BV with Gigachad FC. They managed 54 points. That was with Foden 11, Saka 10, Ake 6, He chan as Captain 6, Harlan 5 and that's all. And then on the bench, nothing really. As for me, I'm all the way down in 229th. There I am with 47 points. So not a very good week for me, really. Foden 11, Saka 10, Captain Harlan 10, Watkins 9, and that's all. And look, I didn't even have a keeper. I knew Becker wasn't going to play, but I've also got Dubravka. And then he was ill and he didn't play. So I, I, I've... I've had a really bad season because of my keepers. I'm going to blame it all on the keepers, I think. I keep buying keepers and they get injured and they get me no points. So, yeah, maybe I should do a whole video about my keepers. So there I am, five red arrows out of six. But I've still got a green one in there, so that that's nice. <laughs> I'm um, 302 points from top spot. And only five points was inside the one million mark. But at least I am inside the one million mark, so that's nice. If I can get 24 points or so higher than top spot... Every week between now and the end of the season, I can still win this thing. 1,243 subscribers. Thank you very much to everyone who watches these videos. So the FPL Game Week website, you can look at content creators. I know some of you like to watch videos. Certainly I do. Top content creator just now is FPL Fran. And the top three in the Midnight Mew Mini League are currently beating him. So if they ever do videos, we should certainly watch what they're doing. But there we go, FPL Fran in third place, Ben Krellin. He'll be very busy tonight and tomorrow night working out when the blanks and doubles are going to be in, who's playing, who's not. And then Mark Southerns from FPL Black Box. I'd be all the way down in 67th. I actually moved up, even though I got a red arrow overall. So I'm two places behind Az, and I think I'm six in front of Surge, who are also people I like to watch online. As for my transfers, I made this a couple of days ago because of prices were changing and I care about the money and I sold De Bruyne because he's been disappointing hardly getting any minutes and then as I'm recording this it's half time and so far he's got three assists in the <laughs> in the FA Cup game against Luton now I don't know if that means he's going to be starting against Man United at the weekend if he does he could be devastating or maybe they rest him because they think Man United is an easy team who knows but I really like De Bruyne and I was disappointed he's not been playing and that's why I sold him and there you go. Anyway, so I sold him and I brought in Sun. Sun's a perfectly good player. So um, it's possible I'll bring De Bruyne back if he starts getting lots of game minutes. But I'm I'm very bad at selling players and then buying them back. I think I've had Darwin a few times this season so far. So how's my team lining up for game week 27? We got Haaland wearing the old mule hat at home to Man United and his mate Foden in midfield. We have Sun at home to Palace. Got Dubravka and Trippier at home to Wolves and Doughty at home to Aston Villa. Then I got Saka and his mate Gabriel away to Sheffield United, Palmer away to Brentford, Watkins away to Luton and Solanke away to Burnley. And to be fair, any of those front seven I could captain and that would be a reasonable choice. But I think Haaland's going to be probably the most captained out of all of them. And if I don't captain him and he does well... Because of his high ownership, that's going to cost me quite a lot in the rank. Whereas if he doesn't do well and any other six do all right, that's not going to hurt me anywhere near as much. And then on my bench, I'll have Becker, who's not playing. Garnacho away to Man City. Senesi, I could potentially play him instead of Doughty. I'm slightly leaning towards Doughty at the moment, though. And then a Stupnan, who, when I get a chance, I'm probably going to sell him because he's just hopeless. As for the background picture, this is because of our top scorer, Blade from Sweden. He's Blade because his team, Sheffield United. 
And when I was at school, we were doing about Industrial Revolution, we learned about the peppered moth. And they were mentioning about Sheffield then and the Industrial Revolution and how the moths were they're light or dark. And when they breed, the offspring can be light or dark. But the dark moths always got eaten by the birds because they're easy to spot. Then in the Industrial Revolution, because the city was a lot more dirty, the dark moths were harder to spot. So it was the light moths that got eaten. So the dark moth population grew. Then when the city cleaned up again, it swung back. So there you go, that's supposed to be peppered moths playing football. And there we have it, a nice short video of what happened in game week 26 and my plans for game week 27. It's possible I'll do some more transfers, the most likely would be Becca to Neto, but I'll probably not take a four point hit. It's bad enough that I lost to Bruyne. Thank you very much for watching, I hope you have a good game week 27. Bye for now. <laughs>